Hey everybody, we'll be getting started here very, very, very shortly in about six minutes, so stick around and I will see you soon. So I'm just loading up a couple things and almost ready.
And hello everybody, welcome back. We are on Sunday schedule today for the 48 hours of midair. First of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out, showing your support, you know, pledging your Kickstarters. First of all, actually, before I get in any further, I want to thank you, Vandergrift, $500. Thank you so much, sir. You are awesome. Um, very, very excited about that. Uh, so today's show, um, as I switch over to my next screen, um, well, hello, Bob. We're going to uh, finish up what we were doing the previous stream. Uh, maybe a little bit more focused than the last stream, um, but we are going to develop um, this community inputted map. So if you guys were here the last time, we actually took a lot of feedback from uh, in chat. So this is a very uh, open development process just right now live on this stream. So uh, everybody decided they wanted it under. The flag went under. So we started developing around that. Now, um, the whole idea uh, from where we started was we wanted to make a map that sucked for cappers because cappers always get the good maps, defenders always get the shaft. So that's why we made this base. So this one, there's a couple cool things to it. Oh, I forgot about the hot air balloon. Um, we uh, thought that this was actually kind of a good layout uh, for a couple reasons. One, if you're down here, let's go ahead and go first person here so we can kind of all see here. Go a little full screen. So if we're defending this flag, right? It's kind of pretty closed. So Capper's coming in, you got this bottleneck here, this bottleneck here, and then of course you have these, these two other entrances. Now, uh, what'll happen is it's going to create a different sort of gameplay than probably the other maps that we currently have uh, for midair. And what that is going to be is you'll probably have a heavy on flag, maybe even two, uh, but it's going to be very, very important that uh, light D, um, heavy offense, just kind of chill up here and just spam the crap out of everyone down below. Um, so it should lead to some very interesting play. Uh, we will see um, how balanced it is, but that's the whole fun about making new maps. Um, it's it's exploratory. If anybody, again, has any ideas, this is a map made by you guys. And if you guys are backing us at the $175 tier, you guys will be able to get to play it at the um, end of Kickstarter and let me know firsthand how it actually plays out. So I guess where I left off the last stream is I was actually fixing some of these hills over here. Um, so it actually <laughs> skied uh, and creating some kind of some routes to see uh, to actually get into the flag area right now I don't have an energy pack so watch me butcher a lot of things but as, as you can see you can get the flag come out and without an energy pack I can't make it to my, my my area but that actually gives me kind of a good idea that I probably should put a hill about right here so why don't we start doing that I'm gonna let your guys' juices start flowing um, so you guys Please start thinking on what you guys want to see around that base area, and I will add it. Um, somehow, I ended up putting in um, Bob's Waterfall Snack Shack last stream, um, and now it's kind of taken on a life of its own, um, and the whole... <laughs> it was just kind of fun. So, now let's see. Go back here. Get my sculpting brush out. And... I'm gonna fix some of this stuff over here. Because it's just too, too flat. If it's too flat, you can't ski. And that just doesn't work. So... This will give us a couple options. Um, depending on how much energy is left and things like that. Perfect! That should give us at least something. Maybe I should increase it on this one here. Just a smidgeroon. Yeah, that'll be good. 
Perfect. And let's actually decrease this because that's not really doing much for anybody. There we go. Uh, one thing that actually came up um, when we were developing um, the last stream on this map was um, the idea of a waterfall. Now, I don't mean it in a joking sense, I mean it in an actually a serious sense. I love waterfalls, I think they're pretty. Um, the only problem with them, I guess from a technical standpoint, is that they are a little heavy um, on essentially like, you know, how... Um, What's the word? Essentially, they'll they'll sometimes bottleneck the uh, frame rates if you aren't careful, right? So, um, doing that in a, an efficient way um, to make it look pretty, yet also um, actually perform at a decent level. So, actually, we're starting to get some good hills here. Um, I'm actually kind of getting happy with. Uh, this side here. I think the other side needs some more love, but you know. Yep, we finally have some little hills. And I can find my way along. I have not done any of these outer areas, like for example, that's probably too deep. And you know, we might as well fix it. Let's look at our halfway mark. Um, as I've explained in previous streams, I work on one half of the map, develop that half of the map, and then I'll mirror it, and then bring it back into Unreal. So that's kind of the process here. So I put my, my little big huge block to give me a notification where ha uh, the middle of the map is, and as long as I stay on that one half, I can develop all I want. So. I'm just gonna do it on this side here, raise this up, because that's just too deep. We have some very, very tall hills in this, but if I'll probably take down a couple, but I'll um I, I don't wanna lose the aesthetic. So let's just kinda raise some of these areas up. Perfect. Uh, it looks like we have another backer, Dan, for $35. Thank you, sir. I really, really appreciate it. Um, all that is going to go towards making a better game and being able to bring you features and just things that you guys will enjoy and that we want to bring to you at release. Uh, so your contributions are very, very important. So really, really appreciate it, Dan. Thank you. Uh, Vandergrift asks, does this map have a generator room already? Um, currently, no. So, you know, while I develop this area, let me give you another view. Um, and I want you, Vandergrift, to tell me where you think a generator room would go. Because we should. I made this map big enough to um, be viable for base play. So, um, please, by all means, Get an idea, take a look, be creative. This is an exploratory process. Nothing has to be set in stone. We can try different things. These are all BSPs, right? This didn't take me long to block out. These are just very rudimentary shapes. I can just bring them straight in. I don't have to do any modeling. So if you have an idea, just let me know. I will put it in real quickly and we can see if it works or not. Oh, I'm being told to kill the, the hot air balloon. I, I keep forgetting about it. I will go ahead and remove the hot air balloon, but it will always be there in my heart. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. Balloon. So... Was that Ost Torpedo? 
he says under the tallest peak might make sense. Um, so you mean this one right here, this this big guy, and then like putting it like a a holdout cave area. Is that that what you're kind of thinking? give you guys like a, a back look shot of it so you can kind of take a gauge this is what I love to do this is my favorite part of the process I get to just make stuff and um, not really have to worry about really anything um, it gets a little harder once we're like oh okay so now it needs to be to an appropriate scale or we need to make this work um, in a different way um, that's when things start getting um, a little bit more interesting. All right. So you want a long underground tunnel. Uh, have a second tra entrance from the front of the right peak. Then you could have a second entrance from this. Okay, so you want one here, and then do you mean like like over here? So that like, like goes all the way through. I still haven't heard from from uh, Vandergrift. I was I was hoping he was going to give me some great ideas here. But right, you guys keep thinking on that one. I'm going to finish uh, fixing this train over here. Vandergrift says, "Blow the flag stand would make sense to me. Give it an entrance point from the platform, and also an entrance point from somewhere hidden. Give it an entrance from the platform. Okay, so, all right, so here. Well, let us see what that looks like. All right, so since I already got my terrain already set, so we I can already go to the visibility pros uh, properties, and I can just uh, let's just." Plow a hole through this sucker. It's beautiful. It's probably too big. Now, the question is, is do we make this techie? Or do we make it uh, nature, like rocks and things? The these are the things we must contemplate. Kind of looking at the aesthetic. Just let me know. I'm going to continue on here. So, let's go to our BSPs. Get a box. Drag it down. Oops, keep my uh, snapping grids on. Yeah. Techie all the way. All right, Vandergrift, we will make it as techie as we can with these, these BSP blocks. So I was just informed we have $89 left to get to 54%. Guys, if you know anybody, or if you're able to up your pledge, that would be amazing. Um, we really want to uh, hit that 54% mark. Also, get your friends to come to the stream. I think they'll have a good time. I think I'm a nice guy. Alright. Let's make some tech. Tech boxes. Um, this is probably too big, but, you know... Right now, we are exploring, and I don't have to worry about doing anything crazy. You know what? I should probably do this the real way. Looks like we have a follower, um, Jixt. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate. For any of you who are just tuning in, um, we are running 48 hours in midair. Uh, we are on our last day here on Sunday. Um, if you haven't already, please go check out the Kickstarter button down below. Um, we're really trying to make the best game possible and it can't happen without you guys, your guys' help. So, um, please, please check it out. Uh, put that back. All right. We have a, a big gateway to somewhere. I probably should have make, made a round door, but, you know... Uh, oops, nope, nope, just kidding. Control C, Control V, I could do it. Let's go ahead and make this a subtracted box. Cut a big hole in here. Alright, let's uh, fix how big the opening is. Okay. 
Okay. Now we have an opening. Make sure. Alright, so right now we have this little side area here. Um, it, it almost looks like an outhouse channel to the side, but it's uh, going to be meant for like an I inventory station uh, to be positioned there. Let me raise this up just a smidge. There we go. Now it's actually viable. Alright, let's take a look. Let's go into first person. Let's see what we have created. Alright, so uh, Frizz is asking, are you planning on doing more streams occasionally after the 48 hours? Yes, we do not have a set time schedule yet, um, but we will be doing more streams. And when we, were, uh, we, we used to do Sunday streams for a couple of hours, but right. probably increase the frequency of the people. Yeah, so, so we're looking to do several throughout the week. Um, we do have normal Sunday streams, um, as you are probably already aware, uh, but we are definitely increasing that. Um, we must spread the good word of midair. All right, so let's take a look. We go over here. We can get into our little hidden inventory station. That's pretty much <laughs> the only safe haven for a heavy, although you could get blasted pretty easy. Because right now it's kind of a very open stand. But you got that. Alright. Alright, so you guys mentioned there was one more cave entrance. And let, let me read back in the chat. Where did you guys want me to put that? And then you want somewhere hidden. Hmm. Like off to the side? Or should it be... Actually, it would probably be cool over here, yeah? What do you think? Somewhere around here? These are the questions, guys. Gotta figure this out. Alright. Those torpedo has an idea. What's that idea, sir? Tell me. While you're typing that up and we get caught up here, I will increase this uh, to actually create our base thing here go back back mm -hmm. do a little bit of this all right let's see and horse torpedo has linked me an image Alright, let me click on this. And he gave me a nice draw over, so I'll let you all see it. Talk about helping me with the iterated process. This is kind of like what we do when, um, <laughs> like, Santeri is giving notes to somebody. He'll, like, take an image and say, hey, do this with this arrow, and then do this. <laughs> Alright, so you have the t oh, tunnel from this thing, and then you have a another hidden one off to the side. Vandergriff, what are you thinking about this design here? It actually kind of makes sense to have it in the front, too. <coughs> so your reasoning is... Yeah, if he, or Torpedo feels it is best from front slash side, not back. Otherwise, too easy for team to kill. Makes sense. Okay. Go for it. I got the approval. The masses have spoken. Here we go. Let us, uh, actually, let me fix this real quick, too. Um, move, move this over to a smidge. There we go. I will fix this in a moment. So, let me look at my concept again. <laughs> hidden. I don't know how I'm going to make the front hidden, but it'll be there. So it'll probably be... Go in there. So, let's see about this hill. So we're gonna have to be down. It's gonna have to be down here, and then we're either gonna be exiting here or there. 
Probably makes sense here. <gasps> a waterfall, Vandergrift. There, you just, you just. <laughs> That'd be very Batman-esque, yes. All right, let's uh, go ahead and make the hole here for the train. Uh, visibility tool. All right. I think that's the right place because I want to make sure I don't I don't want to clip through the top here. <laughs> Man of waterfall with a hidden cave. I mean, if we did a waterfall, I would have to kind of change the terrain to encompass a waterfall because uh, currently water appearing out of nowhere might not make the best sense, unless it was a, like a mana generated out of thin air water. Okay, that that's that's actually a good idea, Vandergrift. Uh, he says, could have it like a broken mana generator thing on the hill that leaks mana. But that's actually kind of cool too. Uh, that would, all right. So while ideas are continuing to flow, I will go ahead and make a BSP, we will say, Wait, I mean, I could throw in a man. Actually, I don't know where all these things are, but um, I'm gonna try to look for that mana gen. We we have like these little mana capsule circle thingies um, somewhere uh, that we used for some maps. Um, it's probably an ice wind. So let me check that that actually could be kind of a cool thing to just kind of plop in here instead of just putting like a a cylinder of some sort all right guys we're up to 37 viewers that's that's actually pretty good for this early in the morning here on the west coast it's 7 22 a.m don't know how i'm still alive i actually i do it's coffee <laughs> all right let me take a look Lush, okay. Desert, snow. Let's see what we got. Mm, assets, meshes? No. Those are trees. Santeri, if you are listening out there, if you know where that uh, ice wind mana circles with the with the mana gooey stuff in them, uh, let me know where those are and I can uh, plop that in here. But for now, just to get the idea across, I'm gonna put a, a cylinder thing. I guess it would be bigger, yeah. And then it'd probably have like, it's probably a little bit bigger. Let me move that. Oh. It's in levels ice wind. <laughs> okay. Levels ice wind? And we, oh, environments, levels. Icewind. Got it. Base. Meshes. <laughs> so we got. Oh, we got all sorts of fun stuff. What would we do without Void Spawn? I tell you what. I'm not seeing it. Alright. Well, he's on the case. We made our mana generator thing there. Um, let's go ahead and... So this is hidden, but it still needs to have some sort of... thing. Oh, wow. Uh, we got a follow. Um, 
Oh, Blitzer O, thank you very much for the follow, sir. That really means a lot. If you haven't checked out our Kickstarter, please do. Um, and it actually looks like we got a, another donation, $35 from Mitchell. Um, excuse me, not a donation, a pledge. Um, it really goes a long way to making this game be the best it can be, so um, please, please, please uh, check it out, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in-game. Remember, it's $175 to come and play with me in, I don't know, what, 30 days or a month or a month and a half? So please, if you do that, you can check out this level. You can visit um, Bob Snack Shack, and we can all have some fun. Alright, make this thing here. All right, so uh, Mr. Voidspawn, aka Santeri, came through for me here. Uh, it's environments, industrial, props, S and D mana tank. Oh, that's way better than my little cylinder. Man, that thing's cool. Alright, put it up here. I really like that, that mana flow thing. <laughs> Voice Bond says one of Mana Tech's top execs is named Mr. Van de Griff. That's great. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. So now we need to figure out the right trajectory and angle of this entrance. So in order to do that, we should probably take a couple skiing passes um, and kind of figure out where we land. All right. So this is base entrance. It's probably a little big. I'll probably fix that. We need to shorten that. But for now. Come here, and it shoot us shoot us out this way. So it probably shoot us out like this. Okay, that's okay. So if we were O, I mean either way, if we're O, we're gonna be able to get in, right? I think that's actually the right height too. Yeah, I kind of like it where it's at. So let us do this. Alright, and so again, these are just BSPs. I'm not making anything crazy, aesthetically pleasing, or anything like that. Probably make this smaller. I don't think we need it to be like massively big or anything. Let's check that size. It seems to look pretty good. I keep forgetting I have a. Uh... Oh, by the way, while I'm working on this, and, of course, I want you guys to be thinking about level design just as much as I do. 
um, and like make this the best map possible for all you 175 backers who are going to come play with me here, um, is if someone can create me a Bob's Waterfall Snack Shack sign to post right there. If you could do that, you can link it up in chat. I will take a look at it. I'll throw it in real quick. It'll be kind of a little fun, a little fun project you, you can do to help me out. Um, and I think it'd be kind of cool to have. All right, let me go check out over here. See the size of this thing. It's probably yeah, it's a little, it's a little big. I'll probably shrink down the top. Hmm. All right. Uh, so we have a question from Torpor. Um, question: Could a teleporting mechanic be feasible? Could have the mana leaking all the way down to another hole in the wall. If you ski th through wall, you are teleported to another hole on opposite side of the map. That's an interesting idea, sir. Um, if you guys have any interesting gameplay affecting um, elements like that, um, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm probably not the right person to ask for the gameplay stuff, um, but uh, I would definitely, if you have ideas, I don't discourage ideas, so you can post them up in the forums, uh, playmidair.com or, um, you know, Reddit uh, midair. Uh, and we'll take a look. We, we, we look at all those medians, so. And I'm going to shrink this little area. Alright, guys. So, I'm told we have $54 until we hit $54,000. Please, it's, it's 54 bucks. Make a man happy. Alright, I'm going to shrink this down. Uh... Let's try that. That's better. Cool. So, so there's actually some pretty cool um, aesthetic things happening right now. Like you have this, you have this, you have this, and the circle thing. And we have one of these. I think we're missing something from like an arty type of aspect is we need another height differential, which will probably need to go up to about there-ish, maybe? As long as it doesn't bring gameplay, because I don't want like a sniper's tower or something that would just uh, kill the whole thing. I need his face print screened for the, for the shack poster. Here you go, sir. Do it. Take that screenshot. You got it? I think I gave enough time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Take a look. All right, this is too tall. Tall's okay, but I may narrow it. Um, I don't know, I kind of like that. All right. I'm getting to the point where I just kind of need to go. Go, 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 go. So I'm going to finish by expanding the subtracted level here and actually hollowing out our base so we can take a look. Um, that's why, okay. I made this thing rather large, didn't I? Uh, Torpor is asking, just to clarify, is there no medium class yet? Um, we have finished the high poly for the medium, and we are currently working on getting that in-game. Uh, so it sh will be coming in soon. Alright, how far back is this? Actually, that's probably... Probably pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this. I'm 
Okay, so I'm gonna move these, go like this, bring this back. And I see this there, do a little bit of this. Alright, losing it a little bit now. Open it up. And then open this up. So now we have a hallway going into nothing. Awesome. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete that. We've got to make an additive box first for whatever reason and it has problems. Alright, copy. Bring that up over here. Nope, that's the subtractive one. There we go. Bada bing, move it back. Shorten it up a smidge. A little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna move this, and now make it bigger. Alright, make sure I'm not clipping anywhere. Alright, let's, let's hollow it out. Pasted, let us shrink it, and then F11, let's make it subtractive, take a look with what, what we got here, um, oh, nope, a little bit more, by the way, keep the ideas flowing, please, uh, that's what this all is, that's what this is, this is, um, just creative flowing. Um, love doing it. Okay. So we're kind of entering through here. We end up with this. We'll see how big this actually is. Um, I'm going to bring. Actually, this box needs to be slightly bigger. And move it over. And now my subtraction stuff needs to be... There we go. We have a follow, Quantum Brat. Thank you very much for the follow. If you have not already, please check out Kickstarter down below. You'll find a link. Um, all your pledges go to making the game the best we could possibly make it upon release. I'm very passionate about this project, so... Uh, please, if you have a moment, um, if you have the funds, <laughs> please check it out. Um, pledge if you can, that'd be great. Um, right now we're working on level design, um, if you're new coming into the stream. Um, this is exploratory with everyone in chat, so please give me some suggestions help me develop this map and if you are one of the $175 backers you will be able to play this game with me with others and we can see just how good of a map maker the community is all right let's uh move this over and then now let's make it bigger Why? Move it like that. Yes. There we go. Let's play. Alright. Cool. These rooms aren't too large, which is good. But this is still. Whew, thinking about. Stuff. Let's see. And we have a follow. Uh, Dobson777. Thank you so much for the follow, sir. Really appreciate it. By the way, guys, we're at 42 f viewers. So if we can get up to that 50 mark, that'd be awesome. Tell your friends. Tell your families. Tell your moms. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. 
Um, and uh, let's get this going. And it looks like we actually have a new pledge. Zachary pledged $35. Thank you so much. That's going to go a long way um, to making this game amazing. So thanks again, Zachary. All right. Um, I do have a question. Question. Is the actual Snack Shack going to be in the game with the poster? Um, I'm not sure if the Snack Shack, snack shack will make it. Um, but you know what? I think it's awesome. Um, I, I took a little bit of time to do this. Um, how about this? I <laughs> I will make a couple assets for it on my free time just to do it because I think it's awesome. But um, whether to make it out, out in the game, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, that's not just for me alone to decide. Okay. So Frizz asks, Jen's going to be in the back of that um, bottom room. So this is the main base, right? And then we're going to make a little uh, tunnel um, coming through this wall here and running over to our secret uh, Batman side cave. Um, and so how we're going to do that, um, the Jen's will probably need to go under this hill here. Um, so here-ish and we'll probably separate it whether we use like corridors or or like a complex plex hall thing with two entrances or we may just have it drop down somewhere um, I'm gonna let you guys I'm gonna let you guys kind of run with it again while I'm I'm the driver if you guys have great ideas I will put them in as I go along if you guys don't suggest something I'll just start working on something and that actually may let you guys have the ability to riff off of that so we're gonna explore this together all right uh, let's take a look here all right so I don't know if you guys caught it um, but Santeri aka void spawn um, was actually modeling um, in an early uh, stream of the fighter vehicle that um, we are looking to put into the game and uh, we actually just posted the concept art on concept art on the kickstarter page so go check that out let me know what you guys think in chat um we do have people here um that would love to hear from you your thoughts um i, I think it looks pretty cool i mean it's it's a very very cool vehicle um and i'm very very excited about it i think it's gonna lead to a lot of cool things a lot of cool gameplay too so all right so let us fix a couple things that have been bugging me while i was skiing around here uh make that let's whoops not sculpt i want visibility and i want to delete you little guy perfect delete that little guy and those ones beautiful and then i'm gonna move these down mm -hmm. perfect now it was part of it. Okay, so for here, I'm gonna do something a little different for this one. Since this one is our hidden um, entryway, I'm going to put some rocks around it. Um, let me take a look. I believe those are in Lush. Give me one moment here. Rocks, meshes. Yep, there they are. Let's see how they kind of look. I'm gonna bring in a couple ones. Um, they're probably the colors are not gonna be the right color, but um, let's take a look and combine some stuff here. Um, I mean, it's funny these. Pray for positioning assets. I usually zone, um, get in the zone when I start doing this type of stuff because it's like, uh, 
I'm gonna place one here, and I rotate it, and place one here, and like create different shapes. Put you there, let's rotate. Up, oh, up, oh, and I gotta make sure that I'm paying attention to chat. Uh, hold on one second. Let me finish this rotation of this rock. Highly important stuff here. Alright, uh, we have... Let's see. Vandergrift, I'm excited to see what your poster looks like. I think it's gonna be cool. So, uh, definitely link us up when you got that ready. Um, this is a two-hour stream, so I have about an hour and 20 minutes left-ish. Um, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. All right, so uh, we have a question. How is the driver going to see what's in front of them? Uh, screen in the arc. So uh, that's a good question. Uh, everybody... He's talking about the concept art that was just posted on our, on our Kickstarter page, so everybody should go check it out. Take, take a look at it. And it's where? In the vehicle section. It's in the vehicle section. I guess there's a vehicle section now. Um, so uh, go check that out. Let us know what you think, and, and uh, we can all talk about it. Um, we should get... Um, is Santeri around? I, I think he should uh, speak to that and he can uh, speak to you in chat about kind of the thought process behind that a little bit. Um, we, are, we are also doing some um, Q&A sessions a little later. Questions are always welcome. So, so please, if you do have any questions, they will be handled in an actually uh, more formatted session coming up after my stream. So also keep that in mind. <clears throat> to be honest. While I like this rock, it's not doing doing it for me. In this, eh, that's better. In this fashion. Oh, rocks! How we love thee. Uh, let's move this around. Ooh, yeah, that that that's good. All right, because I'm getting lazy. And honestly, art placing of assets, it could take a while. Uh, you have a bunch of these little small things and you have to make them all work and fit them and if they're not custom built and already uh, positioned, then guess what? You get to do that manually. I'm gonna just delete that one. I don't think it's working in this section. Okay. Okay. Take a look at those. I guess we have some more rocks. Um, desert rocks. Desert rocks. Where has it got? Oh my goodness! Hey. Hmm. Let me check this out. I'm gonna check this. Okay. All right. Oh, we looks like we have the link to. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. Give me one second. Vandergrift has posted up his poster. Uh, let's take a look. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, can I show? All right. All right, guys. This is what Vandergrift came up with. <laughs> what size is this? <laughs> Love you. We'll post it up here. Give me a second. That that'll uh for this, I'll just make a What size is this? guys are crazy all right so torpor's idea was please make the hidden entrance look like uh look the same as bob's waterfall poster vines and all vines vines are cool um actually in early iterations of our uh, verdant map uh we had 
I had actually had a bunch of vine assets in. Um, uh, they're hard to optimize though, just because of all the little leaves and how many there are, and the density, and how much frequency you actually have to place them around the map for it to actually look good. Um, and so it was like a strain on the on on performance. Um, if and when we have the time to kind of go back and reiterate on on those, um, that is definitely something we can add in. I mean, uh, I, I love vines. I think it gives it that that immersive th um, thing going on. So, all right, I'm in Photoshop. We're going to make the bob sign real quick. It's going to take me two seconds since it's just literally one of these bad boys. All right. All right. It looks like we have two new backers for the Kickstarter. Uh, $20 a piece, James and Denny. Thank you very, very much for the pledge, guys. Um, it's really going to go a long way into really making um, our goals a reality. So thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. All right. Let's take a look. Man, so so now we have... No, we're not going to do that one. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there waterfalls, torpor, um, you can fake some of the aspects of those um, and make it look okay. Um, but, uh, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna take this box real quick. I'm gonna map this out here real quick. Complex shapes, everybody. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ruined it. There we go. It's all the time we're going to spend on that. I'm going to export it out. Bob's Snack Shack. Sign. Guys, everybody, we hit our goal. We have now hit the 54,000. That's 54% of our goal. Thank you. Much appreciated. We are on our way, guys. By the way, have you guys called your moms yet? I mean, I think that's important. I haven't called. I have an excuse, though. It's early on the West Coast, so I'm, I'm waiting till she sleeps in and then I'll give her a call. Here we go. Let's take a look. Go back. Where should I put this? I'll put this in... Where's our unsorted stuff? Gameplay assets. No. I'll put it here. Import all. All right, we got our sign. Okay, now let's get our texture here real quick. Um, where did that go? Where did that go? Take a look. Uh, where did I put it? Where'd it go? Oh, 
must have closed it. There we go. Gotta save your image here. You know, you guys do know that, that this is going to, um, uh, hold on, one second, let me name, naming conventions here. Perfect. Let me import that. We will make this quick. Just go like that. We'll create our material. Where to go? Above sign. There it is. So just so you guys can see what I'm doing quickly, so it's not like overly shiny. I will add in a spec and rough. We'll put 0.98 on the roughness and 0.2. Perfect, we'll save that out. We now have our material to apply to our actual mesh that we imported. Let's go like this and let us drag and drop on there. Hmm. Oh boy. How do we, uh, let's go ahead and fix this real quick and, uh, the ground. Going fast, going fast. Keep, um, if, if you guys haven't been, think on that base, because we need to, uh, uh, think about all the base assets here, guys. I just had it on the wrong side. Alright. For you, Vandergrift. It's a little crooked. Bob's sign is a little crooked. Not gonna lie. Here, let's fix this. Why is the orientation all messed up? My... One eighty. Drag it around. Actually, let's fix this so we can actually get it to where we need it. There we go. That's close enough. beautiful thing. Let's take a look at it. Alright. There it is in game. Vandergriff, thank you so much for your pledge again. Um, it's pretty amazing. Alright. Back to what we were doing. So, I had just found this rock, um, which is actually kind of the colors in which we were actually working with, so I'm actually probably gonna use this one just so the rocks aren't like standing out massively um, let's I'm gonna take a look I wasn't paying attention here so what if I cough on hopefully if... okay so <clears throat> let us put some rock stuff here Position it to where it needs to go. All right, let's copy some more. Mm. These are kind of sandstony, but you know, see if I can't like we're concepting, so I can like screw up the the stuff. Actually, that makes some more like rock rocks instead of sandstone, so I'm gonna do that a little bit more. Beautiful. Actually, raise that up a little. Perfect. Let's delete these. We're gonna get our rocks over here. I 
I'm in the zone, guys. We're getting in the zone. Let's see, take a look. That, move it over. Actually, I'm gonna. Has to look somewhat different. I'm gonna move this down, over, down. There we go. Over. Move it. Over. Tweak and move. Tweak and move. All right, we're starting to get some rocks. Cat's Hulk, I totally understand what you mean. Right now I'm just blocking in using some existing assets so they're not, um, so we can get, kind of get the feel. Um, I would, this is far from perfection <laughs> by any means, um, but it's, uh, it's definitely fun, so. Uh, let's move it over. Starting to smash my hallway a little bit. It's okay though. Right now, I just need to focus on making stuff. Let's do that. Increase that. Move it over. All right. I think we're getting the idea, right? Okay. Let's see, so this is the the the, the pro to having um, assets already built. Um, that means I could just grab them, throw them in. A as we continue on with our our process and creating new assets, creating new maps. Um, we will end up with all sorts of stuff. Um, Zach, Steffi, thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Um, again, if you guys haven't checked out our Kickstarter link down below, please do. Uh, right now we are making a community map. Um, taking your input as we go along and uh, just working with it. We're, we are creating maps together. And uh, if you are one of our 175 backer, uh, in that tier, uh, you'll be able to play this game with me, with the testers, with everybody else who is in that tier, um, and even try out this map that we've been working we're working together with. So um, that's what it means to have early access. You get to be part of the raw, the raw first iterations. All right, thank you so much, A Afray. Did it? Did, am I saying that right, Afray? This is the last rock and then I will move on with our process here all right I think okay I'm gonna move this one over because it's there we go and then I'm gonna make this one bigger and yep perfect all right so now we have our little a little entrance. All right, uh, Zach Steffi asked what prog uh, programs you used for making the rocks. Um, so those were sculpted in ZBrush, uh, then uh, baked out in X Normal, and then that's where we got our normal maps, um, and then we brought it in Engine. And that's essentially. Again, I've, I totally skipped the retopo step, um, but uh, yeah, ZBrush is a handy tool. All right, guys, we have our little cave entrance. Um, so now, um, did you guys think about this area yet? I know we talked about it a little bit. I'm gonna bring over this. Um, so again, people who are just joining, I am in the concepting block out phase of this process. Um, it is very just kind of 
at my whim what I feel looks good, but in this case, it's what we feel looks good. Um, from a gameplay aspect, not really so much from an aesthetic aspect, uh, just because um, we are not really looking at the graphics per se yet. So, all right, let me uh, check the chat, make sure I didn't miss anything. Da -da -da -da. Program, blah, blah, blah. Can make can make All right, Torpor says, can we have a turret sort of position in front of the tunnel entrance so if people get tricked by the waterfall and misjudge the entrance, the turret will splat them orbits. Hmm. So you want a turret. So right now, uh, the last community suggestion was to put a turret up here, which which kind of makes sense, right? Um. So you want one like up here or or in here Zach Steffi we do do substance painter uh, for a lot of our texturing uh, like for example um, Bob here as you can see from some of the details substance painter is a very very good tool it's it's, it's just it, it's just nice Okay, so like I was going through, and we are taking this to the next level. Guys, we have reached 52 viewers. Yes, we did it. All right, next goal. Can we make it to 60 before the end of the stream? I think we can. I think that's an easy enough goal. I think people are starting to wake up. It's Sunday. They want to watch me do my thing, right? Um, I'm going to move that out a little bit more. Cape, cape, cape. Move that out a little bit more. Perfect. So, MMPNEO, is it tribes style skiing? Well, how about I do this? I'm going to hit play. I'm gonna go in game. Whoops. Let's try that again. Hit play. Switch to my my thing. Sorry, Vandergriff, I shot your sign. And let me uh, put on an energy pack. Get out my grenade launcher. Apply. Let's suicide and let's do this. All right. This is the skiing. Here we go. Again, I haven't um, made this map completely ski ready yet uh, we have lots of other maps that are farther along slash finished to be to be exact um, but this map uh, we just started on the stream uh, the other day and it was community run and uh, this is for everybody oh I butchered that but as you can see jetpacks hills if I want to go fast we do have disc jumping Freedom of movement is a good thing, and it's pretty amazing. If you haven't already checked it out, check it out on Kickstarter. Uh, there is a link listed below, um, as well as we just posted a link in chat. Uh, check it out. Um, we actually just posted some vehicle concept art, so let us know what you think about our uh, our fighter uh, vehicle. Um, very, very curious what you guys think. All right, and uh, yeah. Let's go say hello to Bob and the sign. Good job, dude. <laughs> your sign is... Your sign, Vandergrift. Amazing. Okay, let's continue on. Back into here. So, I'm not sure how exactly I want to do this. Um, I think we should start blocking it in. I... I know the generator is going to go in here somewhere, so let's uh, just pull out the generator asset and just throw it in there, just so. Mm-hmm. 
Well, those are the audio files. No, I don't want those. I want... Generator. 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 There it is. BP. BP. This one? This one? Yes. Alright. So we know it's gonna go here somewhere. But how exactly is this, is this space gonna work? Uh, right now it's just a square. That doesn't work. Right now it's just completely open. You just kind of come through here and you spam the crap out of it. I'm thinking we may need even more. We may need like an offshoot from here. So let's try that unless anybody else has any other ideas. Um, Copy this. Let's paste that. Oh my goodness. Uh, we got a couple more pledges coming down the pipe. We have Zer pledged at 175. That means we get to play this glorious map with you. Uh, Radiant Keen has pledged $35. Thank you very much, sir. Um, again, guys, Kickstarter down below. Uh, click the link. Make your pledge. It's a, It'll be amazing. Pledge that 175. Come play with us. It'd be awesome to talk with you. Get your input. Be part of the development process as we continue to make this the best game possible. And all your pledges go to making this game possible. Um, it, we just want to make it the best we can. So thank you very much, everybody who's contributed so far and those who will in the future. So now back to this. Move this over. Stealth, maybe go a level below rather than to the side. Let's do it. This is a community, community thing. All right, Vander Grafoso says, could you not drop down the tunnel and then make a big room under the flag stand? Could you not jump down the tunnel? Yes, we could do that. One thing we need to keep in mind, we want to make sure that the generator has multiple um, entry points. If we don't do that, we won't be able to um, balance the gameplay. It'll be too easy to bottleneck in those areas. Um, so if we do something like that, we'll need at least, at least two entrances. We can always have more, but um, we have to have at least two ways to get to the gen. O otherwise, it's not going to be balanced enough uh, to do so. Guys, we are at 55 viewers, so we are getting closer to that 60 goal I set before the end of the stream. So let's see if we can hit that. All right. I, yes, guys, Rain Dance disagrees. I totally understand. Um, but you do remember what would happen if you... <laughs> the heavies had such a hard time entering through the front. Not to mention if you get past, if they were running an HD at the front there, or or even just a light. Um, but if you got past that, plus the base turret that's right there, plus once you get through, there's a bunch of turrets that a turret farmer set up. Yeah. That was a challenge. Do you remember some of those long standoffs that you'd have? They just hole up in there? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look. All right. One thing I want to do, uh, let's see, it's 814. I have about 45 minutes. I want to make sure to connect this tunnel to, to the base. So let's go ahead and do that. What we can do is actually this tunnel can go straight to the gen room. Uh, which is what I think you guys were talking about. Um, that would actually give it three entrances. Uh, so let us go ahead and make it so. Um, we got another backer. Dennis backed at $10. Thank you so much, Dennis. Um, all of that helps. We want to make this game great, uh, and we need your help to do it. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. All right. Let's continue this rolling. Da, da, da. Let's make this bigger. And I made it quite big. In fact, I didn't mean to do it like that, but hey, it works. And a little bit more. A little bit more. There it is. And now let's make this bigger. This is cutting that hole through it. Let's 
create our... Looks like we got um, Jed back to $10. Thank you very much. That's awesome. I appreciate it. That's a good idea. Um, doing though a curved thing. Okay, actually, that is doable. I mean, doing it in BSPs isn't um, the the best, um, but it, I, I guess it is doable. Uh, oops, it's too much. Um, Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So what we'll do to make this a reality is then I'll do this and this. That'll work. And then this. So now I have a... Alright. We'll, we'll make it work with this. Uh, we will group these so I don't have to do this again. Okay. Uh... So again, doing complex stuff like this, um isn't really what the BSP process is for. Um, but you guys have spoken, so I will make it a reality. Alright. Let's move it over. Group. Groups. There you are. Ungroup. Cylinder brush. Move it up. Make this bigger. And make this both bigger. There we go. There we go. And move it over a smidge. Alright. Now let's raise it. And perfect. So now let's do this. So now we have. Oh, it's almost there. Um, move it out. All right. There it is. All right. Oh, sorry. I, w I wasn't paying attention. All right. Um, Fatosto168, I don't understand what instant access means for 175. So instant access means at the end of Kickstarter, um, and then of course giving us like a, like a few days lag time to, to get some back end stuff taken care of. We will give you access to the state of the game as it is currently right now, um, and you'll be able to play with us. Uh, partake in some of the pickup games that we have going on. Thank you, Ambiguous, for the follow. Um, and pretty much give your input as we go along with this process. We listen, um, we try to do our best to listen to everybody. Um, just make yourself heard, um, and we will definitely give you a listen. Um, and we just want to make the best game possible. So 175 will give you that access um, to play the game right now. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait for beta. You don't have to wait for alpha. Uh, right now we're pre-alpha. You can go right now. So that's what that means, um, which is probably, I think, the best tier that we have. Um, it, it just, it, it's everything that I would want. So instant access, it's what you probably want as well. So let's see, any other questions? Let's field them. Um, all right. Yeah, guys said it. He wants his uh, finger blaster, so follow this channel. <laughs> 
getting to 500 would be awesome, guys. That that would be cool. All right. All right. Let's go back to what we were doing. So, in this case, we're going to need to take this and this and then bring it down, yeah? And then down. Why did I put it over there? I don't want them over there. All right, click and click. We're gonna copy, we're gonna paste. It does what I want it to, perfect. And then we're going to move it down. And then, so this is the reason why it's kind of a finicky business. I, I could do this really easy in say Photoshop, uh, not Photoshop. 3ds max but um i'm not gonna go back and forth in that one just right now so we're gonna do it with this so bear with me and then we will i think i did too much move it back a smidge and then move it forward Perfect. All right. All right, we've got another follow. Ellis01, thank you so much, sir. I know I sound like a repeated broken record, but um, I do want to let everybody know um, that uh, check to check out our Kickstarter down below, there is a, a button you can click. I click that link, check us out, pledge if you can, 175 is the best here, I will keep back in that, um, it is definitely the best value, um, and if you love these kind of games or you just love being part of the community, um, you should uh, definitely go in for 175. Alright, let's take a look here. So now I'm going to... Done and done. Oh, well, we have another follower. Uh, trip like I do, tribal war. <laughs> uh, I can't tell. Uh, I'm gonna have Chris check the numbers. It's 4.99 right now. We're at 4.99, guys. One more. Give give us one more, and we're at 500. Life will be awesome. All right. Let's see. Alright, so we kind of have this stuff doing its thing here. Hmm. So now we have a gradual curve. And there it is, Poonster. We have a follower? We have a follower. Awesome. I, that's 500. Guys, hands off to you. Good job. Whoop woo! All right, for that, we will look at Vandergriff's handy f Photoshop, or is this paint skills? Good job on Bob's Snack Shack poster. All right. Here we go. Taking a look. I think I'm just going to leave it at this. Otherwise, I'll be um, messing with uh, this stuff like all day. So I'm going to go like this, go like this. We're going to sync these in a little bit, maybe? Oh, that, that breaks it. You know what? We're going to leave it. It's going to be like you have a view. All right. Actually, let's go like this. Copy this. Go over. Oh, BSPs. But the one thing about BSPs is we're actually able to export these out um, and, you know, uh, bring them into a 3D modeling program and use them as a base guide so we kind of know where what the spacing is and it makes it a lot easier um, to uh, make final assets that actually um, go with um, how, how you set up your map, so... Um, doing all this is not a lost cause. And now, now we have some cool corridor details, uh, not on purpose, but it's there. Um, let me go ahead and copy this over. 
bring it to the other side. So we continue on to the road. There we go. Over, over, over. All right. Yeah, Siberian Z, if, if you missed it earlier, I uh, I requested from all of you guys to to for someone to make a uh, a poster for for Bob Snack Shack, and uh, Vandergrift came through with his uh, magic paint skills, and uh, we were able to get that in for him. All right, and um, also. We started creating a couple uh, things for the base, so let us review what we have gotten done so far. Uh, we do have, looks like, 35 minutes left in this stream. Um, so guys, let, let's let's continue with the ideas flowing. Um, so we have our main area here. Uh, we will have generator, which probably won't be here. Um, we were thinking about putting it one level down, and then having it accessed uh, from like a tunnel that goes down. A uh, tunnel goes that goes down, um, and also having it accessed by our little secret cave, which will be the idea. The original idea was to have a waterfall spawned by this broken mana tank up here, and then we can go through, and then it takes you down to your doom. No, um, it will take you down into a an area. Um, lower one 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 story down and then bring you across and to, to the gen room which maybe we'll put probably about here which would make sense so we're getting there uh we definitely had some good ideas today so i really do appreciate your guys' help um this has been actually a lot of fun um normally i just blare music zone out and uh go you know what i'll put like a little a little something over there in the top left or I'm gonna put something down here you, you, you know but uh it's been a lot of fun with you guys so all right let's see if see chat let's see what chat has to offer today uh it needs to curve around horizontally too oh the demands torpor i tell ya um please let it be lore base okay so um you know what ever since ian said your name I only know you as Pompliche, <laughs> which I can't, I can't get out of my head. It's like become your name. So uh, uh, he wants um, something lore based for the 500 um, follower hit. Um, we will see see what it is. Um, all right, Siberian Z. Let's see. Siberian Z says, "How about a backdoor genie entrance? You jump jet down into with a nice twisty tunnels for the giggles." Hmm. I mean, we could try it, but that sounds very complicated for me to do with BSPs. I would have to probably go to 3DS Max to to do to do the twisties. Um, let's see. Let's see what else we got. And we have another follower, um, Vormulak Unsleep. Thank you so much for the follow, um, guys. It's been amazing. Uh. We hit our 500. Um, we hit our 500 follower mark. Um, all these pledges. It looks like we have a couple more pledges that came in. Trip like I do. Tribal Wars pledged 187 dollars. Yes. Um, let's see. Pompliche. I can't. I, I have to. I'm sorry, dude. Increased from 70 to 175. Getting that instant actions probably to play this map. I'm 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 pretty sure. Um, so thank you so much guys, uh, your support means everything to us. Um, this is gonna make it so we can actually create the game, uh, that we would like to create. Um, and, you know, have it ready on release. So, thank you so much, uh, let's keep this going. Alright, 30 minutes left in our time here on this level design. Alright, uh, let's see what chat has to offer here. Da -da 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 -da. This will be the most show like guy. All right, let's just continue on. So, I already got the curve down. So instead of so much easier working with um, 
actual uh, stuff here. So I'm going to work with this. Shrink you, because I don't need you that long. And then, of course, because I've messed everything up, I'm going to do that. Move up and over. Okay. And then we are going to. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna make this a reality. Okay, I'm going to do it. Do it this way. We're doing it live. Um, BSPs. Where are my BSPs? Nope, that's not what I wanted. That that is. That's not it. Box. There it is. All right. And a little bit. No. There we go. There we go. There we go. I can do this. I have the abilities. Let's move this down a smidge because we already have our gradual. Yep, there it is. Now we're going to take this. Now we're going to say that we're at a 30 degree decline. Oh, BSPs. How much fun you are to work with. Okay, and then move that over here. And then do a little bit of this. And then move it over. And then a little bit more. Alright. Alright, so how, how are we doing in the chat, guys? How many more hours of midair Twitch left before sad... Pan half stag sab panda feels bad man no stream we have a couple more shows i'm going to be ending here in about 30 minutes after that we will have um uh let's see let me pull up the schedule just so you guys can see it um where is it, it looks like you already linked it he is too efficient all right, so after my stream, we have game mo modes and types, and it'll be kind of like a Q&A session if you guys have questions. That'll run for an hour. That's 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. We will then have some Kickstarter updates um, and kind of like a wrap-up of our 48-hour uh, stream, which we have been doing. Um, it's We've been putting in a lot of work. It's been a lot of fun. We've got to meet a lot of new people, uh, make connections with everybody, and um, really watch this grow and see the excitement grow. So um, it's really been a lot of fun. Um, and uh, yeah, we should just let, let it keep rolling. We do have... Um, uh, more to go to hit our goal and uh, it'll take every one of you so you know we appreciate everybody who's contributed so far and uh, your continued support so let me with that said let us do this all right I'm gonna do a little bit of that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cheat a little bit but I can because Cause it, cause I can. <laughs> that's, that's ultimately what it comes down to. All right, nailed it. Not so much. Now I did. And we will go over one. Now it's nailed. All right. So now we have our. Go down to one level, so probably should go down just a smidge more. Yeah, I'm not redoing it. So down, up a little bit, up a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that works. We will then take these. We are going to scale them up, then bring them down. Up, then scale them up. 
scale them up more. Perfect. Let's do our roof. Oh, BSPs. So much fun. Ah, uh, there we go. Nope, nope. Let's uh, go ahead and delete that. We'll just take this guy, copy it, paste it, go up. And do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then let's put a ceiling to all this, yeah? And let's go down. Let's see. Whatever. All right, what's happening in chat? Sorry, I, I was zoning out to get this done. Um, let's see. Complete just says, Vorn, so what? So many ways of spreading the word. Utilize all portals. Twitch, stream, YouTube, Twitter, all those by pointing to this Kickstarter and signatures and nicknames. That's great. Great idea, man. All right, me down a little bit, down a little bit, and I don't want to catch us on a ledge. I mean, that would just boom. All right, so let's kind of see how this is looking so far. Ah. Say hello to Bob, and in we go. And then we have our gradual decline. That's actually works out really nice. Um, like even coming up a bit, you can use use it and it gradually puts you down. That's actually kind of a cool use of a curve. Um, it feels really good actually. Like you don't get that feeling with uh, straight edges. <clears throat> Maybe onto something, boys. Okay. All right. So now we have our little area here. Let's make it slightly bigger. This is our gener generator generator hall. All right. So we came down from our little hidden tunnel. And now we're gonna have our little room. Hmm. Uh, Vulmic Unsleep, uh, your concerns with the BSPs, totally understand. These are blockins. Uh, this is me just blocking in shapes. Everything's redone in uh, UE, in UE, in uh, whether it's 3DS Max, Blender, or Maya, whoever is going through and making base assets. Um, but these are just great blocks. These are to provide the testers with something just something to test. Um, we can try different things. It's it's easier to go in and do things on the fly and submit it. Um, it's just very, very easy to do. Um, normally I don't go this complex with the BSPs, but since this is uh, our opportunity to work with the community and if the commu community has su suggestions, this is the one map that, that I've decided that I was going to let everybody have their input in and kind of see how it goes, you know? Um, it's been a lot of fun definitely during the streams to get everybody's input um, on ideas and how gameplay would be affected and where to place flag, where to put the generator, so like it's all a fun process and, and, and that's kind of what, what we do, so. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. <laughs> All right, uh, Cat Hoke says, "Can you look at the actual flag base? I think this tunnel is currently blocking the site in a way that will limit the way you can actually run routes." It. Um, so, cats, the community decided to place the map below for a couple reasons. Um, first one was we wanted to create. When I first set set out on my mission on this map, I stated. I wanted to create a map that was hard for cap cappers because every map just inherently is uh, favors the cappers and the defense has such a hard time. Whoops. 
I need to fix that. Um, and the defenders just have have a tough time, right? So I was like, you know what? Why don't we turn the tables a little bit and give the defenders a map in which they can shine, right? So what we try to do is we tried to balance it together, and we did this on the last stream uh, before this one. And we decided, okay, let's put it down below. Let's make some entry points. So now it's kind of a little bit restrictive, but it's still pretty open, honestly. Um, what we did is we cut off a couple points. It's not like an open flag stand like it always is. Now it's like you have some some restrictions, but you actually are pretty open to kind of hit the flag how you want to. Oh, I totally butchered that. But you can hit it, go up here, come across, go down. Um, but what, what that'll do is it'll enable you to... Um, force heavy offense up here to spam down uh, LO to, to spam from above clear out the defenders it will take a lot more teamwork than than um, than the O usually has to muster up <laughs> um, but if you think of cats heavy if you've ever played snow blind that's literally a boxed room with only one entrance to it and the cappers can't do routes and that was that map was was really really fun um but it was difficult too because it required um a lot of teamwork in order to to do it um but there will be other cool things too um like like i've already spotted a couple routes that'll be kind of interesting like if i come over here um i don't know if i can do it because i haven't created any hills to do it here, let's do it from over here and Here, here, let's just act like I'm doing something. All right, and I come up here. So, say I'm on a route, and then I come right here. I can come down like this. Bam. So, so there's lots of cool, cool little different routes. Um, now, all of it is subject to change. Uh, reason being, is a game. You know, play testing is important, and. Every map will get play tested, and it'll get play tested thoroughly, and we we will figure out what works and what doesn't work. And you know, we have scrapped maps in the past um, just because they they weren't working, um, or we'll do a complete overhaul of it, and then it looks like a different map um, because some some things don't work. Um, they just don't. But you do your best. Um, you you try to be different. You want to make maps different. You don't want to usually follow. Uh, the same thing, so every map is is ju just a clone of itself. So, yeah. So that was the idea. We're gonna give it a whirl. If you do have any worries or want to be part of that testing process and give your feedback, uh, there is definitely ways to do it. Um, get in that 175 backer tier, and you'll be able to get instant access as soon as the Kickstarter is done. Um, and then you know you can give us your feedback and and be part of the play tests and. You can be one of those people telling us what doesn't work or does work, and uh, you know uh, that's that's why we have these options available. All right, <laughs> Crustable, are you telling me Bob might go out of business? You know, Bob's business will never go out of business because it goes with him wherever he goes, and if he ro relocates, he relocates. But, um. Honestly, the hills are pretty good in this map. Um, as far as terrain is concerned, um, I'm liking kind of where it's headed. Um, I like the aesthetic of it. There's some cool bigger hills with some smaller hills. Um, so I really think um, that something about this map will work. So um, keep your guys' head up. All right, thanks for the follow, Hammer TW. Appreciate it. All right, so we have. Let's see, 22 minutes left. Let's see if I miss any questions. All right. We'll just continue on. If I, if I miss anything, just shout at me. Let me know. All right. So I just wanted to finish connecting these two before the stream ended, just so we can say we did it. Um, honestly, for now, It'll take me too long to create like some cool connections, so I'm going to do this the quick way. So bear with me while I adjust my subtraction BSPs. I wish it would 
Ugh. Never mind. I'll save my grabbing. Alright, go over here. Fine. Perfect. And then we will... Wait. Uh, we will do this. Copy the... Meh. And let's bring that over here. Oops. Did not mean to do it that way, guys. Man. Let's do this. <laughs> Siberian Z says, depends on T-sales. That's, that's great. Uh... No, I didn't mean to do that. And this a little bit. Uh, all right, let's make sure we're not clipping anywhere, and we are clipping like crazy. All right, let's bring you down, and let's bring you over, and let's bring you down some more. Okay, this is our. Ah, so let's fix this so it's not clipping anymore. Bring it down. The important part is that it matches up with this. That's close enough. All right. So let us. All right, is that clipping anywhere? Just a little bit. go all right I'll fix all this later um, but right now I want to get this in there and and we'll take this and we will copy this fix that Copy it. Uh, all right. And let's bring it over. Where's my, there it is. And PSPs are pain in the ass to work with. They really are, but they're faster to ideate on, so. All right, now we're gonna hold. And let us shrink it. It looks like we have some stuff happening. Let's see. Move this over. And then over. And then down. Twitch stream. Looks like we have another backer. Um, Pat backed at $70. Thank you so much, Pat. Really appreciate it. It's going to go a long way in um, getting all of our our goals and, and on where we want to be at the, the release here. Um, so really appreciate it. It's so awesome. Remember, guys, 175 to get that instant access to play um, day hike here that we've all been working on together collaboratively as a community. Um, so... If you're able. All right. Let me get this in here. Kill this. Uh, let us make stuff that isn't going to be bad. It's going to be bad, isn't it? Oh boy. Whatever. For now, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. I'm going to... Uh, let me... Check off that. Close enough for rock and roll. I think. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. 
Almost, almost. There we go. OBSPs. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, guys, we have five more minutes. So if anybody has any questions, think now. If anybody has an, any suggestions, think now. Here we go. I'm gonna take this. I'm going to copy this over. Looks like I'm gonna be able to at least connect the tunnels together in just the amount of time. So, let's see if I can hurry up and get that done here. The struggles. Go. Whatever, I don't care. Bring it down. Bring it over. All right, and then bring it up. All right, and then how far down do we need to go? Um, so this is turning into quite the big room. Um, bring it down. Bring it down a smidge. Now we're gonna bring it over. This is not perfect by any means, guys. Yeah. More. We have another follow, Bell Hurrah, or Hooray. Thank you so much for the follow. We've got uh, quite a bit of followers this go around, so so definitely appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me if I can get this done in two minutes, guys. We have two minutes, and then I'll be uh, be signing off. This is good enough for rock and roll. So let's take a look at um, all of our handiwork that we took care of today. Looks like we focused mainly on um, base, de base designs, um, but you know what? That's okay with me. Uh, so currently, let's go through uh, the accomplishments of today's stream. First, Vandergrift, thank you so much for your, your handiwork on the poster there. Good job. Bob's business is now booming because of the marketing genius. Now, this is where we are currently. So, we'll probably shorten this, but right now we can go down here. This will probably be be the gen room. I'll probably shorten this up a little bit, bring it in, um, and then maybe have it somewhere in, the co in, in a corner. We also have access out. Um, through our little secret passageway, which brings us and shoots us out over here. Uh, 
So yeah, no, great job. Um, there's definitely some cool stuff happening there, um, which will which will be cool for for base gameplay, which um, we all love. Cap routes, we have those. We have defensive maps. All right, and then yeah, perfect. Works out. All right, so we did it, guys. We uh, we have reached the end of the stream. I want to thank everybody f who joined in with me today. Um, I think we did a really good job um, coming up with some great ideas. Vandergriff, thanks again for contributing. Um, ev everybody for contributing, um, following. You guys have been great. Again, please check out Kickstarter. You can see that the link is down below. Uh, check us out. And if you want to try out this map you can pledge that 175 and get in on this pretty much right away after the end of the kickstarter so um i look forward to seeing you all in, in game and uh, you guys have a good night also stay tuned for a chris and mabel uh they will be going through game modes next um so uh definitely if you have lots of questions and i'm sure you've been saving them up ask them they are are very very good at uh answering most if not all of your questions again thanks guys i really appreciate it i really love and, and enjoy hanging out with you guys so um yeah i'm signing off you guys have a good night